So today I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of information on how many fish you could fit in a 29 gallon tank. Since it's a tank that's sitting in front of me, once we get done talking about the 29 gallon tank, I'm gonna bring you guys around for a few updates, including the wood that's outside. So once again, don't forget to bring out your notepad and your pen and pencil so you can take some notes. This is another segment with Andy with Andy's Angels. I hope you enjoy the video and stay tuned for some future ones. Let's get it. How many fish can I fit in my 29 gallon tank? Oof. So I guess it all depends on fish and decorations. If you're going to have something like these angels and you're wanting to plant the tank or decorate it heavily, then I would recommend no more than two. And that's also pushing it. Angel fish like open areas to swim in. Now let's say you want some zebra daniels. Well, zebra daniels get, what, two, two and a half inches? Unlike angelfish, which get so much bigger. I think like six inches. I think you'd be able to keep about 10 to 12 daniels in a 29 gallon tank. So you must choose your fish wisely in your decorations. Your filtration also plays a huge part in this. The better the filtration, the more fish, and the healthier they're going to be in your 29 gallon tank. If you're going to be feeding a low quality flake food, it's going to dirty up the water a lot quicker than let's say a high quality pellet or frozen food like the one I just bought that float stuff. I feel that looks pretty high quality. How many times a week are you willing to do water changes? That's a great question right there. Unless you're willing to do 50% every two days, I wouldn't suggest adding this many fish in a 29 gallon tank. Also with plants, if it's a new tank, they're like barely growing, which means there's less of a biomass there to process the waste. An older tank is a more stable tank, so the older your tank, the better your fish will be. A great rule of thumb is one inch per gallon per fish at adult size. So you must like take in, into consideration the fact that the fish you're buying at the pet store, your breeder, are gonna be the baby. So you gotta keep it con into consideration that they're going to grow and that's what you need to ask is how big they're going to get as an adult. No, I'm just kidding. That rule is BS. That's the definition of cruel punishment. How bad would it be to see a 10 inch flower horn in a 10 gallon tank? That should be a crime. So I was watching a video on the internet and someone said the size of your fish, so a 10 inch fish, you multiply that by 10. So if you have a two inch fish, you should keep them in a 20 gallon tank and that would be the safest thing to do. In this hobby, the bigger your fish tank, the better. It's kind of like a new go thing. So guys, that concludes the little segment on how many fish to keep in this 29 gallon tank. As you can see, I keep this tank spotless. And if you look on the left right there, the last time I cleaned this tank was on the 7th. I try to do it every two days, if not every day. But if I do it every day, I do just 25%. Every two days, I do 50% or 75 sometimes, depending on how dirty it is. So make sure you maintain your fish. That is, that should be my motto is maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. So guys, that definitely concludes my little tips on how many fish you can keep in your 29 gallon tank. Hope you guys enjoy and I hope you guys stick around for the next portion of the video, which is more like a vlog style video. Hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned. Peace. So I just got this new food we're going to be trying for the flower horn. If you guys ever use this, let me know. There's the first few ingredients. Antarctic krill, whole wheat flour, chlorella algae, seaweed, carotene, kelp, spirulina, garlic, alfalfa, scallops, omega-3, fish oil, well you know the rest. I was really trying to change up the diet on that flower horn to try to get it to color out some more. I really wanted to pop so I figured I'd try these guys. Now the pellets are a bit smaller 
and um, mm -hmm. that's the only thing they had. They said they would be having some like bigger pellets coming up. Well, now that I asked them for it, but um, yeah, we'll see. Also stopped by Petco, guys. I'm getting into this whole minnow feeding thing and I got a little tank here, so why not keep them? I just keep them medicated with some ick clear stuff. No, no, none of the 20 from last time died, so I figured these are gonna be good. Look how awesome. They're so cool. Now let's go feed the arowana. I might set up a tank with these guys like an actual tank so we're gonna do it like let's see if it comes up to here this is where i feed them all right let's give it a shot so for starters the packaging is definitely not any proof so yo float step your game up all right let's see if he likes it he's all ready come on Yeah. Oh, he's spinning. Oh, he ate it. Since I'm over here, let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the wood that's been hanging outside for a little update. It's been what, three or four days? So as you can see, this is what we want is for this to start peeling. So we get the little stick that's on the inside. Let's see if I can get some more to peel. Longer stays. the easier it'll be to peel. That's what I want to be left with. See how it's peeling? How it peels back like that? That's exactly what I want. I'm gonna let it keep drying. And within time, it's gonna look amazing. That one fell though. Leave a thumbs up if you think I should create a little tank with the wood and some of the rocks that I've gathered around my yard. These guys haven't did been, been sitting here for a minute. So we're gonna go ahead and release them. Like I always say, don't ever put your fish store tank water in your tank. That will contaminate it. goes 40 minnows bombs away come on get out so my idea was to get these guys medicated and then release all 40 of them in the arowana tank do you think that's a good idea or should I just feed them off? I don't know. So I was sitting right here and it sounded a bit odd and I hadn't checked on the salt for the uh, angelfish and, and uh, zebra danio and, and the little nano tank or well, nano fish tank that I have and uh, the sump's been running pretty dry. Mad dry to be exact. So I figured I'd bring you guys out for the ride. So I'll show you how I actually just refill my sump, which is simple. I just stick the hose to it, turn the water on, and add some dechlorinator. But let's join me. So there you guys have it. I just stick the hose in the sump where the uh, pump is, and I just let it rip. I did build this sump myself. And uh, if you guys want to know how I did it and what I used to do it, 
you should leave a comment. I actually did it for very cheap. Let's say 60 bucks to build this sump. But I'm willing to show you guys what I did and how I did it. Guys, so it's been a few days since we added the catfish and built a little cave for them. So I figured we'd take a second and do a little checkup on this tank and see how it's doing after the cleanup and everything. Guys, so I'm very happy with the way this tank turned out, but um, I don't know if I should add some more barbs. I think that would fill it in a little more, but we'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll add a few more loaches, but I'll know I'll be having to pull them out eventually. So maybe I should add tiger barbs instead of loaches. We'll see how it goes though. Right now, I'm loving this tank. How about you? So if you watched yesterday, I kind of did a setting up a tank, but I dumbed it down like a thousand times a thousand and I figured we do a little check on the 10 gallon tank with the minnows. I did take the aeration out because I feel that thing is enough for the minnows. There's no lighting, no real plants, everything's fake. But the minnows are doing amazing still. So I'm happy, they're happy. Another thing I figured I'd show you is it's been a few days on the eggs and I haven't cleaned them yet because I'm lazy and that's one thing you guys will realize about me. So I figured I'd show you what happens if you actually leave the eggs be. They get like a, a white fuzzy. It's like a fungus or something. Look at the minnows. The minnows. This tank is mad green. I like the, the look of it though. I'm gonna take the chance to feed the, uh, the veil angelfish I have in the 125. This has been another episode with Andy's Angels. I hope you guys have a great afternoon and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace.